basically, our device is an automated coffee machine. Um, there are two ways to work it. There's one manual way, which is just direct user input. And so you just pull out the cabinet here, and you can turn, there's a little uh, like switch to turn the whole system on. And then the LEDs light up in the back, and that shows how much coffee you want. The blue button just increments. And then the yellow button just decrements. And then the white start button uh, just starts the whole process. So yeah, so there's like there's seven LEDs lit, so it should make seven cups of coffee. And you press the start button, and that sends the message to the pick, which gives it the right amount of coffee to make. And you can see right here the um, Arduino reports to the the Arduino reports to the Raspberry Pi how many cups it's gonna make, and it's starting. There are uh, two air meters, one here that. If the pot isn't in place, it won't start. And a float switch in the water tank, so that if the water level is low, it won't start. Over here is the pick with a multiplex display. These are one or more LEDs, and the pick could actually handle with all its 18 pins. So that switches between each LED for one microsecond, turning it on fast enough that you can't see the difference. The grinder and the pump that pumps the water into the coffee pot are on a time scale because it has to grind for a certain amount of time and then drain for a certain amount of time. The other way to activate this would be <clears throat> if you were to send an email that said something like um, subject 8 and make coffee please, it would parse through the email for the words make coffee and please. And if all those were there, it would um, pipe the subject of the email to the Arduino via Serial for the Raspberry Pi. In this case, it's running an email client and grabbing emails from Google. Pause email client. The practical upshot of that is that you can do things like send a text message to your Google account and then have the text message forwarded to the Raspberry Pi's email. We have a Mercury tool switch um, installed within the cabinet down. Controlling the main uh, power supply for all the high voltage relays. So if the machine falls over and you don't want it to start again, so the tilt switch will not activate it on the side. Pot isn't here, for example, it won't only not start, it'll beep and it will report to the Raspberry Pi what the problem is. Right now I'm just displaying it in a terminal. There's a, there's a power strip inside, and there are two DC power supplies. One is uh, just for the Arduino. Because it drives a servo, it needs a 9 volt power supply, not just a 5 volt. Um, the Raspberry Pi has its own USB extension that gives it power. What's powering the high voltage relays is a 12 volt power rail from a computer power supply.